Hello viewers, today for the initial checkout we have Panasonic's KXTG9471 two-line corded cordless telephone which oddly enough has a rent of one which is unusual for something that's AC DC powered and it's made in the Malaysia so it probably still works it does have the wall bracket here I guess it's a desk or wall bracket no information under there looks like there's some kind of a speaker there and then a microphone perhaps or maybe that's the microphone only well, that's the speaker so maybe that's the microphone I don't know appears to have USB I don't know why in the world it need USB I don't know if I have any of the cordless handsets for this. In the same box I found these two cradles, which are kind of an odd shape. You know, like they're very tall. Uh, it looks strange to me. But I don't know, there was no handsets in the box, nor was there a power cord in the box. So it's possible that I got neither of them with this. Or I can't both and I just lost them. That's totally possible too. But I tend to think that this came incomplete. Anyways, here it is, complete or not. I'll have to look through the manual to see if I can find what the model numbers would have been on those cradles, and then I will compare them. So, let's get the phone line plugged in here. We'll plug it into line 1 and 2, and then we'll test line 2's port as well. And now it just says check line for number two, which of course makes sense because there's nothing plugged into it. I have not been too happy with Panasonic lately and the things they've been making. This phone, it just, it just feels really, really cheap. These buttons have an awful feel to them. No, hardly any response. They're just like complete mush. If there wasn't the beeping of it, I mean, you'd have no idea when it was pressed or not pressed. It just has no response to it. This is so lightweight. The model number there was kind of weird. This is lightweight and hollow. It just... Ugh. What happened, Panasonic? What happened? This never would have been acceptable years ago. I don't even think this one is that new. So I'm surprised it's kind of operating the way that it is. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have messages, apparently. Line 1 and line 2, 3 new messages. Hi, Scott. It's Sally calling from the Avalon Bowery Space. I just wanted to confirm with you that I did receive your notice to vacate via email. Um, I saw that you had spoke of that you were unhappy with the community, so that's why you were leaving. I was just going to follow up and see if you'd be willing to provide some feedback to me, um, if there's something specific or overall um, you know, we like to get any sort of feedback that we possibly can. Um, I'm going to be leaving the office soon um, out for the weekend. So if you call back anyone in the office, we'll be happy to talk to you, or you can send me an email. Um, the number here is 21 Thank you. Hi Scott, this is Dana Collins from the Avalon Bowery Place Office. I just wanted to let you know that I received your intent to vacate. Um, and actually we were surprised that you said you weren't happy with the community. We were wondering if there's anything that we could rectify for you. Um, give us a call whenever you have a chance. The phone number here is 212-20. Again, 212 Okay. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye. It's Sarah from Avalon Dari Place. I just wanted to follow up with you today because your preliminary ins um, inspection was scheduled for today and Camille completed it. Overall, the apartment looks good. Um, the only potential expected charge is for cleaning. So I just wanted to see if you wanted to sign the clean sweep. If you do, um, it means that you can just kind of leave the apartment and we'll take care of all the cleaning. You don't have to worry about how it looks. Um, and it's $180 for as the cost of the vendors. Um, or if you want to clean yourself, that's absolutely fine too. I just want to go over the expectation because it is a move in clean. Our phone number here is 2120. Again, it's
and two oh. Thanks, Scott, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. End of final message. Okay, so this must be older because it has the older voice. And actually the messages and the voice sound pretty good. Oh, that's a weird, it's like a graphical menu. Line one. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. Line two. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. Line one and line two. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. Okay, so the greetings all the same. Ring count. Recording time. Three minutes is fine. Definitely want that off. See, this one works the way I want it. The unit in one, two, whereas the play button features, I mean, functions as the select key as well. It's very intuitive. Okay, so this dates back to 2011, or so it claims in the calendar. Probably sold in early to mid 2010s. So it is a more recent make. Uh, let's see, today is the 13th. Yeah, these buttons are terrible on the base. And we're going to put that to manual. Oh, it's got a different set of rings. It's not very loud. Those two kind of remind me of the 1031S. They're not the same. If we get people in the scene, they're the same. They're not the same rings, they're completely different tones, but they have a similar frequency to them. And that's it. They're otherwise completely different sounding ringtones. Hmm, not a lot of tones there. I expect more for a two line. Okay, so it doesn't have a whole lot of features to it. Answer off. That sounds really good. Answer set. Line one and line two, Saturday, 4, 22 p.m. Okay. Line one and line two, I don't quite understand that. Uh, let's see here. I don't know why that keeps blanking out like that, if it's normal or what. To erase all messages, press erase again. Line one and line two, no message. Line one and line two, no message. Okay, let's call it. It's kind of a delay.
delayed there. This is the first testing message on this Panasonic two-line cordless corded telephone. Okay, and that was way too many rings. We need to turn that down. Okay, so let's change it to the Spanish. Where was that? Change language. Voice prompt. Spanish. Okay. Un voz diferente para español y inglés. Dos nuevos mensajes. Okay, I'll put it back to the English. Dos nuevos. Line 1 and line 2, 2 new messages. This is the first testing message on this Panasonic 2-line cordless corded telephone. Saturday, 4.23 p.m. Esta una voz diferente para español y inglés. Saturday, 4, 24 p.m. End of final message. To erase all messages, press erase again. Line 1 and line 2, no message. Okay, so let's see here. Let's record a greeting. Record greeting. For line one. Record greeting after the beep. This is line one. Record a message or we're not calling you back from either line one or line two. Line one. This is line one. Record a message or we're not calling you back from either line one or line two. Record greeting after the beep. Where is the microphone on this phone? I think it's right here. Line two. Where is the microphone on this phone? I think it's right here. Okay. Now I'll call and record some more messages and I'll switch it over after I record one. I'll switch it into line two. I don't know why the ring is like that. That's kind of ridiculous. This is line one. Record a message or we're not calling you back from either line one or line two. I think this phone is going to break the trend of the answering machine, the, the testing one, sounding better than the phone itself. The messages seem to sound better on the phone itself on this one.
Okay, now we'll go to line two. Five geese honking near a pond. Okay, let's see if it says anything different this time. Line one and line two, two new messages. It doesn't seem like there's any differentiation between, other than the greeting, where the messages go if they come in on line one versus line two. So I'm not sure why I keep saying line one and line two. It doesn't really make any difference. Alright, let's try to record or play those back on the remotely. Line 1 and line 2, 2 new messages. Okay, so this definitely sounds a lot better on the phone itself than on the testing engine machine, which is inconsistent with what we've been seeing recently. Okay, now let's make some outside calls so we can see how this sounds. Should have gotten that out ahead of time. Oh, it's not on the names. Sounds kind of muffled. It's not terrible, but it, it definitely could use a little more clarity to it. 
which pairs well with corned beef and cabbage. For the winery courtyard and enjoying a glass of wine at the farm, we plan to open that component in April, so stay tuned, and better yet, subscribe to our newsletter to be the first informed on activities around the farm and winery. Again, the JonesFamilyFarms.com website has a great deal of information, but if you do need to reach us regarding the winery, you can... The speakerphone is decent. Let's go over to line one, just make sure that that has the correct connectivity to it. That's working as well. Okay, so now I will call the testing answering machine and we'll record some testing messages. Two new messages and 15 old messages. Message one. This is testing message number one from the handset. I'm not too fond of this handset. It sounds kind of muffled. It feels very cheap hollow plasticky and it's way too small. Goodbye. Message two. This is the second testing message. This is from the speaker phone. And right now I'm speaking right over the phone about six inches away from it. And I start going further away. I'm about a foot and a half from the telephone. This is probably right around that real world typical use case distance. I'm going back a little bit further. End of messages. Not impressed at all. The the pickup of that speakerphone was pretty bad. Even at the normal distance, you know, a foot or two feet away, it wasn't picking up good at all. So that's very disappointing considering how good the outgoing volume, outgoing to me, I guess incoming would be the better word to describe it. The incoming volume seemed to be really good. So it's disappointing that the pickup is so poor. So that's going to be it for this telephone. Not much else to show here without the cordless handsets. I'll look into what model handsets are supposed to go with this and if I come across them as I'm cleaning up, I will do another video.